Ezra 4.2b Ki chachem nidrosh lelochechem Velo anachnu zovachim mime esar chadon melek ashur ma'ale otanu pcho Now, in this context, the enemies of Judah and Benjamin, they drew near and they said to the uh, to Zerubbabel and the uh, family leaders, let us build with you for like you uh, we are seeking um, to uh, we are seeking your God more simply and to him we are sacrificing or we have been sacrificing from the days of Esarhaddon king of Assyria the one who brought up us here. Nidrosh. And we have all three root letters showing here. Dalit, Resh, Sheen. To seek. And we can see by the prefix pronoun on the front, uh, we're looking at a um, imperfect 1CP. And I guess I should say this is just a plain old call. So um, it's here really it needs to be in the present tense because it's an embedded speech. It's not we will be seeking or um, uh, we are seeking rather. Zovachim, and here we have um, all three root letters showing here Zion, Beit, uh, Chet, to sacrifice. And we can see by this noun looking ending that we're really looking here at the Kal participle masculine plural. Um, and we'll talk about the tense in just a moment. Now here we have um, Hama'ale. We have all three root letters showing. Ayin, Lamed, He. And we can see the um, article on the front. He, Ptak. And then the Dagesh in the uh, next root letter um, tells us we're looking at a participle. Now notice the meme on the front. This tells us that um, a meme with Ptak this is a hyphial. So the meme tells us we're in one of the participle stems, and the patak is a sign of the, uh, the hyphial. And this is masculine singular. The subject is spelled out as Haradan, that is the, um, the king of Assyria, the son of Sennacherib. So notice we are in an embedded speech. So the imperfect, normally we would default to in a future tense, but that really doesn't work here. For like you, we will be seeking. Well, it's like you, we are seeking. So this is really a different sense of the imperfect form, maybe ongoing. We um, we are seeking. And then we have the um, participle. Um, but rather than going with the present tense, it's just talking about the action because notice it's from the days. So it has to be set contextually in the past tense, we have been sacrificing continuously from the days of Esaradon. Well, this is the only time in the Hebrew Bible we hear about um, this. That is, Esaradon is bringing some uh, other uh, folks forcibly migrated to uh, the land of uh, Judah, or Israel here. And so this is... Um, They've been around for a very long time. So this is set really in the days after or during, I guess, ap, uh, after really, um, 2 Kings 17. So um, we do know about the folks forcibly migrated here, but this particular forcible migration we only know of here.